Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and in this video I want to show you how to generate fake data using Faker npm package and then generate separate tests for each data item and then maybe select a subset of a list that you generated so you can test just a few cases in different formats. So I have this project, it's bare, there is nothing, just uh, Cypress and Pretty. So the first thing I want to do, I want to install Faker. And while it's installing npm home Faker, let's look at documentation. All right, we just require it and then we get all this random stuff. Okay, so I'll go to my spec file and I'll paste Faker, require Faker. And let's just generate a bunch of users, let's say. So I'll say users. And if we want to call faker, let's say 10 times and get an array, we can use Cypress low dash methods. I'll say range and we'll say from 1 to 20. And so we'll have our um, function. So this is the index. Actually, this is a value. Uh, we don't have a value, so we'll just put nothing. And this is the index. So let's say return and here's the object. We'll say you know, get the name, email, maybe a password, and we'll say ID, and we'll say K. Okay, and we can print this right in the browser using console the table method. Okay, so npx cypress open, click on the spec file, and let's open the dev tools, console, and with our 20 random users. Now, the interesting thing is that every time we rerun the faker, it generates a new list of users, which is quite inconvenient. So what I like to do is to say faker, think seed, and then maybe some random number, let's say 404, because so it will initialize the random seed, and now every time we run it, we'll get the same random list, but with the same values. So for example, Rudolf Metz was the last user, run it again, Rudolf Metz, and so on. Uh, our array is incorrect. Our, we want to start at zero. Actually, maybe one to 21. So we're really 20 users. All right. Now let's say for each user, we want to generate a test. And this is where Cypress each comes in. So what do we have to do? We have to install it to as a dev dependency. What else do we need? We need to import it in a spec or in a support file if you want to. And now we can say it each and then just say users. And now we have the user, right? Uh, but the first argument is the title. Am I correct? Ah, no. So we call it and then we attach a callback where we have the title, let's say user, and we'll just say K, capital K is the index of an item starts with um, with one. Let's see how we form the title element is visible. Okay, so we pass the title string and the user is passed automatically into the callback. So now we generated uh, a test for each of our fake users. Now you might say, well, this title is kind of weird. So what we want to do is we say, okay, we're going to pass a function right, but will return um, a string. And in this case, you can say user and let's say email. Okay, one second. Now we formed each uh, test, um, k plus one, I believe it's like this. We form the name of a test dynamically. So it's very clear which user we test. Now we can add an assertion, for example, what can we verify? We can say expect user, you know, let's say ID to be within uh, from 1 to 20, right? Because that's how we generate it. So we want to test the user ID. Okay, so in this case, uh, our first ID is 0. So why? Uh -huh. Ah, I gotcha. We can just do this. So the uh, low dash range returns a number. It fills an array with numbers. So we really want to grab those values. Okay. Perfect. So now we get consecutive IDs and we'll find the IDs are in a range one. So it's a little bit too many 
tests, right? Don't you agree? Like all 20. So why don't we, for example, check every fifth user? And in Cypress each, where is a shortcut. You pass first the array of items for which you want to generate this. And if you want to take each fifth item, just say five. And now it generates four tests, right? But notice the ID is one, and then six, and then 11, and then 16. So each fifth item creates a test. Now we probably want to say, okay, I don't want um, each fifth. Maybe I want to take a subset. Maybe I want to divide all the users into chunks, right? And, you know, just run them for all the users in that chunk. So in this case, let's say you divide all the users into, let's say, I don't know, four chunks, and you want to run just the first chunk, right? Index zero. So now we have 20 users. We grabbed and divide them all into four chunks. So each chunk has five users. And you know, if it's not an equal number at the end, there's uh, a few remaining items. And we just take the first chunk. So users one, two, three, four, five, I, I tested. Uh, you want to say, take the second chunk. Now it will be users, I believe six, seven, you know, all the way to 10. Maybe a second or third chunk by using index two, right? So now 11, 12, and so on. And the last way you can slice and dice your list of items to generate a, rand, uh, a test for each one of them is to use a sample size. So in this case, you take your uh, load dash that's already bundled that we already used once. You take the list of items. And when you say Cypress sample size, and you pass the list of uh, items and then how many items you want to pull randomly from that list and test it let's say just three users okay so out of 20 users it will pull random three unique indices and it will test fourth user 20 or 17. so every time you run it it will pull three different users 10th third 17th so these are three different ways of taking the list of data that we just generated using the faker module and either creating a test for each item or creating a test for each fifth or nth item, or chunking it up and taking one chunk, so all the items in the chunk are tested, or using low dash sample size to pull n items from that array and only create a test for those n items.